without a doubt, and I'm sure any van owners watching will agree, the job I'm about to do is probably the worst one of the lot. to clean the roof as you can see it is in a pretty bad state there is an awful lot of Scandinavian dirt acquired up there and it won't be doing the seals along the, uh, the skylights and you know around the solar cables and all that very good so it needs a good clean also hopefully you can't see through the skylight because I've not made the bed and she will kill me but this whole top area is gonna get a thorough wash today you touch me so tenderly. It's open already. It is pretty filthy up here, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bigger job than I thought it was gonna be actually because it's got like moss and everything embedded in it now. Uh, we're currently grounded as you can probably tell by all the bricks behind me at the house emily's not very well today and she's working so you will see her in a bit but we'll leave her to it for now i want to get this done mega crabbit mega... <laughs> i don't know if you can read this i borrowed this bucket off my mum and it says it's a mega crabbing bucket now i don't know what mega crabs are but they don't sound fun nice friendly or anything i want to get involved with if i'm honest ah it's disgusting so i think i'm just going to crack on get this clean and finished and yeah pick things up in a bit eventually well it definitely looks a lot better now it's not perfect but most of the dirt is off and it's going to save me loads of time in december when i modify this roof but that's a story for another time in fact most of the dirt is on me and Emily's tea towel, but we won't tell her about that. The problem I've got now though, let me stumble back down this ladder. Oi! You'll notice that this ladder's kind of pointless, I had to use the telescopic, and that's because my solar panel sits across the whip. So when I come up this ladder, I can only get to the back, so I need another ladder for the front anyway, but that will all be changing, fingers crossed, if it all fits and works out. But yeah, the problem I've got now, and I weren't gonna do this, but the roof's clean. Look at the state of the rest of it. So I'm gonna have to run up. I'm gonna cheat because it's just much quicker. I mean, look at this. These things though, these have done us proud lately. But yeah, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna run up to the, the jet washy place at the car wash and give Fanny a quick spruce up because who doesn't like a clean Fanny? <laughs> job done picked emily up some soup as well tomato or vegetable hopefully that'll make her feel a little bit better and i'll show you the van when we get back i've not gone mad but she's definitely a bit sparkly and shiny than what she was Here we go then, she is looking pretty clean. I need to do some urgent maintenance at some point. I think I showed this before, we got a bit of rust build up there and I think the rear wheel arches may be even worse. Yeah, we got a bit of rust coming up there so I need to do that fairly soon. Now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some of you in the comments telling me how I've washed the van wrong and it's, there's a much better way of doing it but I, I'm really not that precious to be honest. Just get the majority of the dirt off and i'm happy with that it's winter's coming into winter they're going to be gritting the roads one day at least this year so there's no point going too mad with it if i'm honest but clean ready for the next trip right soup soup need emily's soup 
Here she is then, sick note. I've got you some soup. Oh, good. Are you going to cook it for me? Yeah, I'll cook that. you got tomato. Yeah. They didn't have carrots, so I've got your vegetable. Oh, I'll have tomato then, please. How are we feeling? Blocked up and like crap. <laughs> Hence why you got that big old toilet roll next to you. Don't show that. <laughs> it's in the shot. I can't help it. Yeah, it's for my nose. <laughs> How about I do you some soup and then I'll run you a nice hot bath and then we'll chill out for the afternoon and then I'll cook you dinner. I must be ill. <laughs> Maybe I'm dying, actually. Hey, Jay? Hey, buddy? Oh, what's up, mate? Are you tired as well? Yes. And then Jello says she comes a little bit. Louise? Yeah? I have toast with soup. You want toast? Yeah. I said I'd do your soup. I draw the line at toast. <laughs> Come on. I have toast. I don't have bread. I have toast. Demanding, isn't you? <laughs> Demanding when you're sick. <laughs> so this is our house. And for those of you that have been around for a while, you'll have seen the house already. But we're getting a lot of questions and a lot of comments and a lot of gossip about our house, which we'll probably... <laughs> You're going to show him around and give him a proper tour, aren't you? Yeah, it's probably going to be not a two-minute running tour, though. So I'm going to sort Emily out some soup, run her a bath, chill out for the afternoon, yeah. cook your dinner. Oh, God knows. It's not oh, a pot noodle, Don't is it? breathe at me. <laughs> breathe over there. Talk that way. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to do all that. And then tomorrow, we'll talk a bit more about our house, our secret house, and um, show you around a little bit, yeah? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Give me a kiss. <laughs> In a bit. Later. I have had a right touch when it comes to preparing dinner because not only are HelloFresh very kindly sponsoring this week's video, the delivery has just arrived. So if you've not heard of HelloFresh before, basically in this box is all the ingredients, the specific amount of ingredients I need for three separate meals, for three separate days, for the two of us. Uh, pasta? Get in my belly. In the box you also get these menu cards and there's one for every single meal. And then they make life really simple because you've got all your separated ingredients and then on the back it tells you exactly how to cook them. So even I can do it. While the pasta starts cooking, I'm going to start preparing the sauce. And this is one thing I love about HelloFresh is it gives you ingredients that I would never, well, I'd never even heard of this before. It's a shallot, shallot, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. A couple of other things I really like about it is it is so easy. So you don't even need to think about a menu. You don't need to go to the shops. You just go on the website, loads of different meals to choose from. Just pick out the ones you fancy. So you get something different all the time. And it also makes us think of different meals that we would never have had before. So I don't know if you're like us, you get stuck in a routine of having the same meals over and over again. Because the, the options are there, you just think, oh, that sounds different, that sounds nice, so I'll try that. So it's been really good for us expanding our palate, so to speak. As you all know, it is Emily that usually does the cooking in this house. But what I love is that even I can do it. And I'm doing it from like fresh ingredients as well, from scratch. So I'm not just buying packet meals, it is all proper ingredients. And I'm actually cooking a proper meal. The other really cool thing is because they send you exactly the right amount of ingredients that you need for each meal, you're not throwing away. Because let's be honest, I wouldn't have a clue. And whenever I've cooked before, I always just chuck too much in and you end up with food waste. This way, there's nothing left over. I think you might have done yourself here, Louise. I know, that's why I love HelloFresh, it's so easy. This looks nice. Mmm. That is good. Is it going to make you feel better? <laughs> All food makes me feel better. <laughs> so if you guys want to try HelloFresh for yourself, and I highly recommend that you do, because even I can cook it and it's just so simple, then use our code CAMPERVIBE and you'll get 50% off your first box and then 35% off the next three boxes and free free gifts that's three free gifts i will leave a link in the description that you need to go and check it out as we all know emily doesn't talk and eat she can only do one of those things at a time so we're going to finish this and then we'll catch you in a bit food takes priority Oh, 
why you've made the bed. I was going to go for one of them, let's pretend we've just woke up and the camera's switched itself on magic shots. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. What? Making the bed makes you feel better, Louise. That's the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. Don't kiss me when you're sick. I don't want it. It's bad enough that we have to film this video next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning then, folks. Right, sorry, we lost you yesterday. Emily is far too poorly. We wanted to film some more fun stuff for this video, but you're just too sick, aren't you? And it's not fair. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, sorry, but I am. It's taking all of my energy to do all this, these little minimal bits and stuff. So. And we've not been sick for ages, have we? So No, and... Yeah, it's really like taken its toll because it's been actually I think a, a few years since I've been sick. So hopefully you don't get it because oh, man flu. Man flu. It comes with the genes. That's why I'm, I'm good with tools. I like football and I get man flu. It all comes as part of the package. I am afraid. Anyway, we wanted to film a video from the house. Well, we do and we don't, but for a few reasons. So first of all, I'll just go through the reasons why we're trying to make a video from the house. So for our international subscribers, so we've picked up quite a few international subscribers haven't we from we have. everywhere from sweden norway finland australia uh costa rica they're all over the world I birmingham know. they're everywhere <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry and they want to know what a traditional british house looks like so we are going to show you around and the same for our new subscribers because we've not filmed anything the house is featured in recent videos but only very briefly usually when we get home most of our content lately has been long trips in mm -hmm. europe so for a lot of our new subscribers a lot of our new subscribers <laughs> Emily's going to give you a, I would say, quick tour round, but I don't think it's going to be quick, is it? We're, we're just going to go with it. We're going to go, we're going to see how it goes, and we're just going to trust the process. The third and final reason we want to film a video from the house is because there are a lot of uh, rumours and silly, <laughs> silly childish gossip going around the van life community or the van life YouTube community. I'm not really sure what it is, but we've had a few issues, haven't we, with people saying that we're faking it, that we're not real van lifers, we've got a secret house in the UK. <laughs> it's not secret, we've filmed loads here. So. so the first, I think the first 50 videos on this channel are build videos and they was all filmed where I filmed cleaning the van yesterday at the side of this house. Um, when we broke down in Spain, it was very clear that we come back to the house. Yeah. When we had lockdown and we was here for one of the lockdowns, you yep. filmed your famous ninja video, didn't you? <gasps> If you haven't seen that video, leave a link in, de in the description and go and check it out. It's my favourite. It's Emily's finest hour. It's your most proud, I don't know how, it's your most <laughs> proudest moment on YouTube. But we filmed loads and loads of content at the house. However, not much, probably since Recently, around yeah. 20,000 subscribers. So obviously there's 40,000 more people here now and we've not filmed a lot of content. And that is mainly because, one, we've not been here. Yeah. Because yeah. the whole point is we want to travel in the van. So we are in the van. More most time... Yeah. more time than we're in the house and stuff so it's not a secret we're not <laughs> keeping it it's all this hashtag van life crap again so um some people think you have to live in your van full time for van life where i was argue that if say we went and worked on a farm for six months we mm -hmm. might make videos and call them farm life or life on the farm or something it doesn't mean you have to live on it it's just our life with that van which is yeah. pretty much i don't know nine ten months of the year we're traveling in fact I sleep in the van most of the time when we're at the house, so technically, technically, if you want to get pedantic, I am full-time van life. Yeah, this is my bedroom, she's not allowed in here. So hopefully that's cleared all of that up. We do have a house, it's no secret, we've spoken about it many times, we've made many videos explaining why we're not going to sell the house. Full-time van life isn't for us, is it? We like the security of a home. We do, yes, regardless of whether it's going to be a house or whatever in the future, because our plans continuously change, mm -hmm. uh, we will always have some sort of base. Yeah, and it's also uh, like we're in our mid-30s, we've got a long time left for living. I wouldn't want to live in a damp, cold van into our 70s, so no. it's a, it's a, an insurance or a pension, if you like, for when we're older, because we've all the will in the world. And also, if AJ gets sick again, it was good yeah. to have the house. When the van broke down, it was good to have the house. So I know some people are living in a van due to circumstance, but for as long as we're lucky enough to have be able to afford both, yeah. we will, won't we? We will, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I don't want to get <coughs> You're going to. And the final thing I want to say before Emily gives you her whirlwind tour of our humble <laughs> abode is the reason we don't film so much at the house is not only because we're always travelling, but also we've had people turn up here. So even from that little bit of footage of me cleaning the van yesterday, someone will go and figure out exactly where we live from that. And turning up here, as much as you might want to come and meet us and say hello and everything, and that's wonderful, but like if you'd have turned up here yesterday or today, like Emily's sick, uh -huh. you're trying to work, I'm working, we're trying to film, but you, 
It's not okay to just turn up unannounced at our house, is it? No, it's not. They're, as lovely as it is to, if we're out and about, stop, say hello, we'd love to have a chat. I've been in my supermarket and it's like, I'm like, oh, hello. And that's lovely, but we do have to have boundaries and our home is our boundary. And just to turn up here, like, cause, like Lou said, unannounced, is a little bit disrespectful. Yeah, and couple that with the issues we've had with people trying to follow us around the country, we're just yeah. trying to be a bit more security conscious than we perhaps once was when we only had a very small channel. So now that the channel's grown a bit, mm -hmm. we're just trying to bear that in mind, aren't we? Yes, we are, because we was not very security or conscious about that at the start. <laughs> But we did want to make this video just so, I'll probably put a silly title and a silly thumbnail just so it's clearly obvious to everyone that watches our videos that we've got a home in the UK, we've never <laughs> hidden it, it's not a secret, we're not pretending to be full time van lifers and we're very happy to have our home, we're not planning on giving, well not giving up the idea of a home, maybe this yeah. home will go at some point because I don't want to live in the South East forever. No, Louise is already right, let's get a... Let's sell this, let's go. <laughs> so without further ado, are you drink your Beecham's and then... Uh, yeah. It won't take long because it's tiny. Yeah, exactly. I, she says traditional. I don't know if this is traditional. We've got like a two up, two down. Done. For those that don't know, for those from abroad, a two up, two down, as Emily mentioned, is um, usually what you'd call a first time buyer's home here in the UK. So it's basically two bedrooms upstairs, a kitchen and a living room downstairs. So two up, two down, and then there is obviously a bathroom somewhere, be it up or down. Technically, our house isn't even a two up, two down. It's a two up, one down, because it's open plan okay. downstairs. <laughs> and it's sort of like the smallest... Don't give it all away! No, I'm not giving it all away, but it's the smallest type of house you can buy in the UK. And because we do live in the South East, it's very expensive. We're not too far from London, so it's commuter belt. So it's a, a very populated, highly sought after area, and we couldn't afford... Well, we could afford much more, but we'd be paying a silly mortgage every month and we just don't want that, do we? No, I, I need the money for snacks and she needs it for camera stuff. So this is our bedroom. I say ours, I mean mine. Bed, side tables, TV. I know it's controversial, but when I'm in here alone and Louise is off, I get scared. I'm scared of the dark, so I have to have the TV on and some little like background noise. So, yeah. On to the next room. Because <laughs> that is literally it. There's not much to it. And I'm on a wide angle, so it's going to look a bit bigger than what it actually is. Bathroom. For those of you that saw that video that we were talking about um, earlier, Louise was meant to decorate the bathroom. And as you can see, she painted. And that's it. I still got... Oh, she started and just doesn't finish. No, I painted. <coughs> I regrouted. So we have in the bathroom, we have a bath and a shower. We've managed to squeeze that in. I regrouted the tiles. I painted the ceiling and I did the walls. Uh, who had to fix the toilet so we didn't flush it with a screwdriver? You was going to do the toilet and the door handle, which <gasps> you've not done. And I've just got to make a unit for the sink. And when's that happening, Louise? So that's our bathroom. Next up is what would be bedroom two, but is our junk room and Summer's room. This is where she comes to be fed, as you can see. She's there waiting on cue. And a junk room it is. Look at that. Yeah, let's let's leave this. Let's just leave and close the door. This is our landing, just to give you size-wise. This is how big it is. So it's four foot long. <laughs> I'm five one. Down here. Handrail's been put on, I see. <laughs> yeah. We decorated, what, three years ago? And the handrail came off. And I was meant to oil it up and I haven't. So it's not on. But anyway, what I wanted to show you was look what Louise made me. I love these. It's really handy to have someone that works with wood. This and this. It's nice, right? For all of Emily's shoes. Uh... And then AJ's dog walking stuff is there. And then this is literally our entranceway. So that door there is a door you saw me going out of yesterday that takes you onto the front street. And then into the main living and dining area. This is our kitchen. It's not a bad size, really. We'll put you in any room and it looks big. Shut up. Washing machine, cooker, fridge, little freezer under the stairs because we don't have room for a full size freezer. And then you know how some people have junk drawers? Well, we have a junk table. <laughs> so I've just been camping, so I'm sorting out all my camping gear, and then obviously we're getting ready to go on a van adventure, so this is all stuff that's sort of coming and out and needs resorting and repacking into it. And I've been doing some crafts to hang some little bits in the van. Look at her! How cute is she? 
living room. AJ's sofa. Are you body? So Precious gets his own sofa, although we often find him up on our sofa, don't we? Yes. This is our sofa. An exercise machine that Louise doesn't use, but I have to apparently keep for some reason. TV. And that's the living room. <laughs> That is pretty much it, isn't it? That is the entirety of our house. But like I say, we're only here a couple of months of the year. Mm -hmm. And when you come from a van into a house, having this much space is, well, it just seems massive, don't it? Yeah, and the cleaning. Yeah. Don't even get me started on how long it takes me to clean just this. <laughs> Compared to the van. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. And I'm sorry that tour wasn't as probably energetic as some of my other ones, but... Yeah, I'm going back to bed. Not well, are you? No. Uh, one thing I did want to ask, because our international subs have asked about our house, we have this in the UK. Carpet. So in pretty much every room except for the kitchen or if you've got a conservatory in the UK, we carpet most rooms or laminate floor, don't we? Yeah. When we've been abroad, in most places, it's all tile. We don't see many other countries that have carpet. Yeah, but is that because it's the, the heat? Well, Scandinavians, you are cold. It's cold there, right? Yeah, so do yeah. you have carpet? Because oh. carpet's the thing I miss. I don't miss the house, but I do miss, miss carpet. carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and in America and stuff, they don't have quilts. They just have... Blankets on beds. No, they must have duvets and No, they covers. don't have quilts. You don't have quilts, do you? Let us know. Let us know your quirky things that are specific to your country in your houses, because we'd love to know. Yes. And also, now that COVID's finished, we're hoping to see more traditional homes and stuff in the countries that we travel to and visit, aren't we? We are indeed. I'm so looking forward to that. Next year is going to be an epic year. Yeah, next year is going to be awesome. And hopefully, what's keeping us trapped at the house will be resolved in mm -hmm. a day or two. We're not going to go into details, because it's a few silly house maintenance things and personal issues, but we're going to get those sorted. And then, fingers crossed, the next video we bring you will be a proper travel video, somewhere in the UK, but somewhere exciting. And we'll see you lot on the next one. And hopefully I'll feel better.